I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Christine Malinga speaking, Minister Christine. I'm an intercessor. I'm the woman of God. And I thank God for this time, for this is the time, this is the season of women. So we are going to speak about one woman, two women, three women in the Bible who who did uh, uh, something uh, uh, good for the Lord Jesus Christ or for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So my, my, my title of the message is Leave Her Alone. Why do you trouble her? This is taken from the book of Mark, chapter 14, verse 3 to, verse 3 to, to, to 9. We are going to speak about this woman. Um, this woman was found in the house of Simon the leper. As the Bible says uh, that Jesus was a guest in the house of uh, Simon the leper. And when Jesus was sitting at the table, the Bible tells us that this woman appeared. He, he, she came. So she came with an alabaster of uh, oil, the ointment, the perfume, the precious ointment. As we read the scripture, we are going to read the scripture here from verse 3. It says, And while he was at Bethany in, in, in the house of Simon the leper, as he was uh, reclining for a, a, for a meal, a woman came holding an alabaster flask of very costly perfumed oil of union nard. After breaking the alabaster flask, she poured it out on his head. But now, but, but some were expressing in indignation to one another. Why has there been this waste of perfumed oil? For this perfumed oil could have been sold for more than three three denarii and given to the poor and they began to scold her. So this woman came and started to, he, she came with the alabaster. The, the, the Bible tells us that the, 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 it was an expensive perfume and she broke that alabaster and poured it upon the Lord Jesus Christ and anoint, she anointed him. Hallelujah. But the people who were around, they started to complain, why this waste? Why this waste? You know, when you do the things of God, especially when you are a woman, when they see you doing the things of God, there will be some challenges and opponents that they will begin to, they will begin to say, why are you doing this? Why are you wasting your time? Why are you wasting your money? Why do you do these things? This woman came with the oil which was so expensive that they even desired to sell it so that they can make money to give to the poor. But Jesus, but Jesus said, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body for beforehand for burial. And truly, I say to you, Wherever the gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what he has done will be told in memory of her. Hallelujah. So this woman uh, 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 is, uh, is, is part of the gospel, is part of the Bible because of what she did. As, as, as we are in the Women's Month, we see that we, we need to do something. We need to do something for our community, for our nation, for our families. What are you going to do? Because Jesus said, she, she has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for burial. And truly, I say to you, wherever the gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. 
we as women we 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 need we need to stand and do something that will be remembered of what we have done because in the book of Malachi 3 verse 16 we are told about the book of remembrance that was brought before God and the things that the, those who feared God were written in that book of remembrance what are you going to do as a woman especially in this season of women so as a woman, Woman, are you going to bring your alabaster? Are you going to bring the vessel that is full of your treasure? What is the alabaster that you have today? The alabaster we have is the is uh, is our heart. Your heart is uh, is the alabaster. Is the vessel that you can bring before God and break it out. Hallelujah. So in this month of uh, of women, in the month of women, in the season of women, the Bible also tells tells us in the book of Jude chapter 1 verse 20 it says be uh, uh, um, build yourself but you beloved build yourself up founded on your most holy faith make progress rise like an edifice higher and higher praying in the holy spirit this is what the word of god is telling us as as women we are told to build ourselves up we are told to encourage we are told to strengthen to strengthen one another as you see another woman going through problems take that woman in prayer go before the lord jesus christ break your vessel break your heart before god M cry for this woman cry for your family cry for the family of other other women pray for the marriages of other women pray for the children of other women build yourself up the book of jude is saying but your beloved build yourself up founded on your most holy faith make progress rise like an edifice higher and higher glory to god we are told to build and strengthen and encourage ourselves as the as women of god as women in our nation in our society hallelujah we are going to look again at uh, about this uh, uh, other woman who had a troubled heart the bible says this woman had a troubled heart we are going to read second kings chapter 4 verse 25 to, to 27 hallelujah so as we as we read here it tells us that uh, the this woman was from shunem we know the story about the woman from shunem so we are going to look at this woman she had a troubled heart and she went she went to to the man of god uh, Second Kings chapter four verse twenty five to twenty seven. The Bible says, as she approached, as she approached the man of God. We know the story of the Shunem woman. The Shunem woman is the woman who built, who she built, she built a, a upper room for the man of God, Elisha. When Elisha was in the city, she, he used to pass through the, the house of this Shunem woman. And the woman was married. But she, she advised the husband that let us build an upper room for the man of God, that when she, she passes through here, she will have rest in this room. So they built an upper room where um, the man of God, Elisha, will come and rest and sleep in that room. Hallelujah. So this woman, she had no child. But when one day uh, the man of God was meditating, she, he asked Gehaz, he, his servant, what must be done for this woman? And Gehaz said, this woman doesn't have a child. And Elisha prayed for her and she had a baby boy. Hallelujah. So one day the baby got sick and uh, died. So the woman, what she did, she took the baby to the upper room and, and put the, the boy on the bed of the man of God and she closed the door. She went and asked for a horse from the husband. She said, I'm going to see the man of God. And the husband said, why are you going to see the man of God? Because it is not a new month. 
Why are you going there? She said, all is well. So she ran. The Bible says she ran to see the man of God. As she approached the man of God at Mount Carmel, Elisha saw her in, in the distance. He said to Gehaz, look, the woman from Shunem is coming. Run out to meet her and ask her, is every, everything all right with you, your husband and your child? Yes, the woman, the woman told Gehaz, everything, everything is well. Everything is fine. But when she came to the man of God at the, mount, at the mountain, she fell to the ground before him and caught hold of his feet. Gehaz began to push her away. But the man of God said, leave her alone. She is deeply troubled, but the Lord has not told me. Leave her alone. She is deeply troubled. Remember, the title of the message is saying, leave her alone. Why do you trouble her? We see here that Gehaz pushed the Shunem woman away from the man of God. But the man of God said, leave her alone. She is deeply troubled, but the Lord has not told me what it is hallelujah the, the, when you when you are deeply troubled the bible tells us that the woman came and she fell at the feet of the man of god and when gehaz was pushing her the man of god said leave her alone she is deeply troubled so we need to take our issues into the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. Take your troubled heart, especially at this time of pandemic. We are seeing things that are happening. People are dying out. And we as women, because the Bible refers to women as intercessors, and the Bible in the book of Jeremiah 9, it tells us God is saying, Call, call, find the wailing women that they may wail and teach their daughters to wail. Hallelujah. So we, we, we need to take our troubled heart when we look this, uh, look uh, around the, the nation, look around the nations of the world, the things that we are hearing, the things that we are seeing. Remember, Jesus told us that these seasons will come, these times will come. But we need to stand in the ground of God and speak the word of God and intercede and wail for our nation because we know that we fight not against against their uh, flesh or blood, but we fight against powers and principalities. We are seeing the principalities of sickness and disease, which is spreading out there. And it is... Uh, at our doorstep. Hallelujah. So we continue to read the book of Isaiah 32 from verse 11 to 12. It says, Tremble, you women of easy. Throw off your complacence. Strip off your pretty clothes and put on bare lip to show your grief. Beat your, bre your breast in sorrow for your beautiful farms and your fruitful vines. Your fruitful grape vines. Hallelujah. The, the prophet is telling the women, tremble, you women of easy, throw off your complacence, strip off your pretty clothes and put on ballet to show your grief. Beat your, your breast in sorrow for your, your, your bountiful farms and your fruitful grape vines. Hallelujah. The, we are told as women to 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 throw away our comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone. When you hear that uh, the number, the number of the people who are dying in hospital is rising up uh, every day. What are you doing as a woman, as an intercessor? Are you going to sit back and put on pretty clothes? This is not time for pretty clothes. This is not time to, to sit at home and, 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 and watch some kind of movies. But this is the time to throw off your complacence, strip off your pretty clothes and put on ballet to show your grief beat your breast in sorrow for your beautiful farms and your your fruitful 
grape grape vine grape vines hallelujah we 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 need to get into this place like Esther in the book of Esther chapter 4 we see that the Jews were threatened to be killed by the enemy uh, uh, which is Haman Haman threatened the Jews to kill them he, he set up a day that he is going to kill all the Jews in the land of of Shushan and the bible tells us that Mordecai the uncle to Esther he, he, he stripped he stripped off his garment and he put on sackcloth and he went to to mourn at the gate of the king and he sent a message to Esther and when Esther heard about this he went to see Mordecai and his she said to to uncle Mordecai in chapter verse chapter 4 verse 16 says go gather all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast for me and neither eat nor drink or for three days, night or day. I also and my mates will fast as you do. Then I will go to the king, though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went away and did all that Esther had commanded. Glory to God. So we see that he, uh, Esther get into a position of saying, if I perish, I perish. It was not... Uh, uh, in the law of the, the king's rules that you just appear before the king. But Esther said, go fast for me. Gather all the Jews in the land and fast for me. Eat or drink nothing. Me and my maids, me and my maids, we will, we will also fast. So this is Esther did put herself in the front line to take the bullets, to take the, the killing. Because if, he, if she was going to appear before the, the, before the king, the king was going to, to let her kill, be killed because she just appeared. But because she prayed with her maids and the Jews also fasted and prayed for her, she went to appear before the king. And the king lifted up his scepter, the golden scepter. That means he accepted the presence of Esther. Hallelujah. Esther saved the nation of the, the Jews in the land of Shushan from, from the enemy Haman who wanted to wipe them away. As women in our time, are we going to be like Esther? Are we going to stand in the front line as intercessors and cry to the Lord for our nation? He say, if I perish, I perish, but not in my nation. This thing will not wipe away our nation. This thing will not wipe away our children. Hallelujah. And then we see another woman. We see another woman in the book of Samuel, Hannah, Hannah was had a, a troubled heart also. The Bible says Hannah was in deep anguish, crying bitterly as she prayed to the Lord. And she made his vow, O Lord of heavens, heaven's armies, if you will look upon my sorrow and answer my prayer and give me a son, then I will give him back to you. He will be yours for his entire lifetime. And as a sign that as a sign that he has been dedicated to the Lord, his hair will never be cut off. As she was praying, as she was praying to the Lord, Eli the priest washed her, seeing her lips moving, but hearing no sound, he thought she had been drinking. Must you come here drunk? The priest asked. He demanded, throw away your wine. Oh no, sir, she replied. I haven't been drinking wine or anything stronger, but I am very discouraged. And I was pouring out my heart to the Lord. Don't think I am a wicked woman, for I have been praying out of great anguish and sorrow. In that case, a lie said, go in peace. May the Lord God of Israel grant the request you have asked of him. The woman Hannah took her, took her broken heart. She, she took her, her, her troubled heart to the Lord because we know the story of Hannah. She was married to this rich man Elkanah and uh, with a uh, 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 
uh, another woman, Penina. Penina used to mock Hannah because Hannah could not have children. But so Pen, uh, uh, this thing grieved the heart of Hannah. And one day it was after the sacrifice that they went to sacrifice to the Lord. After they have eaten, she decided to go and pour out her heart to the Lord. As women, uh, what is troubling you? What is in your heart? What is what what is that that makes you to be in bitter, to be discouraged, as she said? Do, take it to the Lord. Take your heart. Take your heart, which is the vessel of, of the ointment, the praise, the worship, the intercession. Take it to the Lord. Go to the Lord and go and pour out your heart. Speak to the Lord. If your if your house is not at peace at this moment, if your children are disobedient, if your your, 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 if your husband is not in line with the word of God, take your heart, take your heart and go and break it before the Lord. As the woman in the book of Mark of chapter 14, she took the alabaster and she broke it and poured the oil upon Jesus. And Jesus was pleased about that. Jesus himself said, leave her alone for he, she has done a good thing to me. Hallelujah as we do as we walk in 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 this life we look at the situations around us things that troubles our heart hallelujah we read again about this woman the prophetess deborah the bible tells us that deborah was a a, 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 a judge at that time when there was no king in the in israel deborah took the position of a, of, of being a judge and a she, she will sit under the tree and judge the nation of Israel. And this woman I told the, 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 the captain of the army in Israel, Barak, to fight Sisera. And she, she had a troubled heart about what Sisera was uh, uh, doing against the nation of Israel. So when she, she told Barak that the Lord has said, go out and fight Sisera, Barak told her in book of Judges 4, verse 8 to 9, Barak told her, I will go, but only if you go with me. Barak, the captain, is saying to Deborah, the woman, I will go, but only if you go with me. Very well, she replied. I will go with you, but you will receive no honor in this venture. For the Lord's victory over Sisera will be at the hand of a woman. So Deborah went with Barak to Kadesh. Hallelujah. And as we continue to read the book of Judges chapter 4, we will see, we will find out that the, uh, they won the victory. Even Sisera ran away and went and find herself in the house of a woman. And the woman said, come, I will hide you. And the woman uh, kept Sisera in the house. And because he was tired of running, he slept. And the woman took the pin, took the, 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 the pin and put it in the head of Sisera. She killed Sisera that day. Hallelujah. A woman killed a, a, a captain that was troubled. Israel, but we thank God that women are being raised to take the front line, the spiritual front line of uh, saving our nation. Hallelujah. Jesus said, truly I say to you, wherever the gospel is preached in the whole world, what she, she has done will be told in memory of her. Hallelujah. So we are going to Take our position as women. We are not going to sit back and be in the houses and cook. We are not only called to cook. We are only called to take the position of fighting. Fight for your nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever, where are the women with a troubled heart? Let's come together and fight the good fight of faith as women. Hallelujah. Glory to God. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.